Today's question is, did Jesus drink wine or alcohol? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. There is only one group of people who are explicitly told in the Bible to never drink wine or alcohol, and that is the Nazarites in Numbers chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. Jesus was not a Nazarite. He was a Nazarene, a native of the town of Nazareth. Jesus never took the Nazarite vow. Christ's first miracle of turning water into wine at the wedding of Cana almost certainly involved a fermented beverage. According to Jewish wedding tradition, fermented wine was always served at weddings. If Jesus had provided only grape juice, the master of the feast would have complained. Instead, he said the wine was better than what was previously served. It was apparently a fine wine. John chapter 2 verses 10 and 11. The Greek word for drunk in John chapter 2 verse 10 is methuo, which means to be drunken or intoxicated. It is the same word used in Acts chapter 2 verse 15, where Peter is defending the apostles against accusations of drunkenness. The testimony of the master of the feast is that the wine Christ produced was able to intoxicate. Of course, just because Jesus turned water into wine doesn't prove that he drank the wine at the wedding, but it would have been normal for him to do so. What it does prove is that Jesus doesn't condemn drinking wine any more than he condemns eating bread. Sinful people abuse what is not inherently sinful. Bread and wine are not sinful, but gluttony and drunkenness are. In Luke chapter 7, verses 33 and 34, Jesus said, For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say he has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, look at him, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. In verse 33, Jesus is making a contrast between John the Baptist drinking no wine and his own practice. Jesus goes on to say that the religious leaders accused him falsely of being a drunkard. Jesus was never a drunkard, any more than he was a glutton. He lived a completely sinless life. However, Luke chapter 7 strongly suggests that Jesus did indeed partake of alcoholic wine. The Passover celebration would also have commonly included fermented wine. The scriptures use the term fruit of the vine. Of course, Christ participated in drinking from the Passover cup. All Christians would agree drunkenness is sinful and Christ himself warns against it. Luke chapter 12 verse 45. However, a biblical view of wine is that it is given as something to delight in. Psalm chapter 104 verses 14 through 15. There are plenty of warnings against alcohol abuse in texts, like Proverbs chapter 20 verse 1, because sinful men are more likely to abuse wine than use it in moderation. Those who try to use Jesus' probable use of wine to excuse their drunkenness should heed the warning in Luke chapter 12 verse 45. Christians who want to keep a biblical view of drinking wine should either drink in moderation, never to drunkenness, or abstain totally. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.